Our research in New Zealand shows that substance impaired driving is a really serious problem on our roads. We're all aware that drugs and alcohol can affect our driving. You may not be aware that some prescribed medications can do exactly the same. The scale of the problem is probably a lot bigger than we thought. Recent studies suggest one in four prescriptions that are written have the ability to impair someone's ability to drive. So the obvious are medications for some of the painkillers, so codeine, tramadol, morphine, that kind of thing. Also the medications which are used for anxiety like Valium or clonazepam. If you're starting an antidepressant you might have some side effects early on as well. When you first start on a medication it's really important to take it at a time where you're not going to be driving. Does it slow you up? Do you get all slurry and fumble and find yourself just moving through quagmire? You know, if it does any of those things, then you shouldn't drive. Some over-the-counter medications, particularly antihistamines, can cause a bit of sedation or other cough syrups. As a driver, you are obligated legally to, uh, to understand the risks and to make sure that you're not driving when you are impaired. Oh, do you remember to take your tablets? Yep. Had them with dinner. The big issue with impaired driving in New Zealand is that many people actually don't realise it is illegal to drive while impaired by a substance. When there's a, there's a crash or there's some harm uh, that arises out of substance impairment, police will attend and we will investigate. We interview people, the drivers and witnesses. We, we, we go beyond that and interview doctors as well. This is a big problem in New Zealand and we need to start talking about it, we need to start having conversations with each other. Talk with your doctor, talk with your pharmacist or dentist, uh, whoever's prescribing the medication. It's really about our community to start talking about the issue and take some action.